there was someone knocking on the door and I called out through the door who's there and they said it was the police so I opened the door and they said the whole building's on fire, the whole roof's on fire. So I left and came down the steps. As soon as we got dispatched, uh, police, the local police department here uh, advised that there was a resident out on the balcony. Um, as soon as we arrived with our ladder truck, we were able to, to get that person off the balcony uh, within several minutes of dispatch. When I came outside, um, I did look on the roof. There, I didn't see any flames, but there was smoke coming out across the roofs of the buildings. Um, and there was um, more smoke probably over towards Brandy's apartment. We did have a heavy fire in the utility room of uh, that resident's apartment. Um, the initial crew that went in on that was able to knock it down very quickly and we were able to keep the extension into the other adjacent apartments uh, to a minimum. Uh, the fire apartment was the only one that was damaged by the fire. Uh, the apartment to the rear and to the side were damaged by smoke and the storefronts below were also damaged by water. I came outside and Brandy, my neighbor, was on her balcony out front and I said, Brandy, you have to come down. She said, I can't come down. And so um, she said they know it and then she said, please take this, and she had like a canvas bag, which she dropped to me, and I caught it, and that was her pet bird that was in the bag. There, there was, the, uh, the woman that was on the balcony was transported, um, minor injuries, she was transported to a local hospital. Uh, all, the other, all the other tenants uh, were not injured. There was uh, seven total in the five apartments in the two buildings that were involved.